Hi everybody, this is your daily tarot reading for Monday the 18th of September. It's really nice to be with you today. Now my ex-partner Keith, he's on holiday in Indonesia at the moment and he sent me this tarot deck in the post, uh, which is so sweet of him and um, I don't think it cost £150,000 or dollars. I think the uh, exchange rate is somewhat different there. So thanks a lot Keith for sending this to me. I've got Bob at the moment visiting me for a week as well. So if you hear any barking during this reading, it's because Bob is taking care of me and watching out for me. So let's see what these cards have to say. Okay. Rather strange packaging. Oh dear. Oh. Okay, not ideal, but <laughs> the um, cards are still there, even though the packaging isn't ideal. So let's shuffle these cards a bit and see what we'll get. And I do need to shuffle these properly. Oop. Let's turn them around. Oh, I like the back, that's nice and bright. Looks like a honeycomb. No comments about my lack of being able to shuffle cards, please. <laughs> okay. I think I should actually um, maybe do like a, a, a week's training in the casino, like to be a blackjack dealer or something, because then they could teach me how to do all the fancy shuffles and things. I could impress you guys with my skills of shuffling. Not that that's the point of this. So if this is the first one of my readings that you've watched, I draw three cards to have a look at what the energy for the day is about and how you can work with that energy to make the most of it. Okay, so let's have a look what today is about. Fine. So, first of all, we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Then we have the King of Cups and the Hierophant in reverse. Okay. So, these cards look pretty straightforward. Very easy to identify. I like simple cards. Um, if you're a beginner in terms of tarot readings, simple cards are good because you don't focus so much on the cards and you can listen more to your intuition, which is always going to be much more accurate than the cards. You work in connection with your intuition and that's with any divination system. So first of all, the two of pentacles in reverse means that you're not going through the usual, you know, endless handling of your life, the ups and downs. Everything is just feels like a rut and you're constantly going through everything, uh, you know getting on the train, going to work, doing the same old thing, coming back, going to bed, having the same dinner, da da da. That's not the feeling you have today. You don't feel bored, you don't feel overwhelmed by your work. You've got that under control. And uh, if you're retired, whatever you're working on is under control, you feel good about it, you're happy with what you're doing. And the physical world doesn't really put a lot of pressure on you. That leaves you free and open to enjoy this energy of the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups has a very, very active and <laughs> unlikely dolphin jumping over his head. I don't think I've ever seen that. Um, and it seems very normal because he's not even flinching. The King of Cups is the master of emotions in the sense that he has held, he's had to deal with both the good side of life and the bad side of life. Heartbreak, rejection, He's also experienced true love, happiness, joy, loss, pain, all of those things. And the reason he is the king and not the page or the knight is because he has mastered his emotions. He's managed to stay caring, nurturing and a loving person despite the hardships that life has brought him. And that's really the goal for all of us to keep our hearts open and because life can sometimes be very difficult. Sometimes we run into someone who has hurt themselves and we all know that hurt people hurt other people, hurt people hurt people. So it's an endless cycle of people hurting each other and it's only an endless cycle if we participate in that. The King of Cups doesn't participate in that because he says, 
Someone hurt me, but I am a loving, good person with a good heart. I'm not going to be affected by that. I will see that other person as having wronged me. I will see them as someone who's trying to do the best they can. And it just so happens that they're very hurt and they lashed out at me today. It doesn't mean that I have to lash out either. And it doesn't mean that I have to be unhappy. I don't have to cry over people who mistreat me because I know that they're not in a happy place either. So you feel really, really liberated in terms of your physical, financial circumstances. You feel really good when it comes to your emotional life. And the best news is that the Hierophant is in reverse because the Hierophant is authority figures telling you what to do and you being afraid and kind of acquiescing to their will because you're afraid that if you don't do as you're told, then you'll be punished. It's fear. That's in reverse. So there's nothing saying today, you have to do this, you can't do that, you should be here, you shouldn't be there. And you're free to pursue your desires and your passions. Yes, you may have to go to work, but you still have other days, um, other hours in the day where you can really connect with people on a very intimate, passionate level. And you can really um, be intimate with someone you love. So this is a great day for really romance, um, a real sense of connection, you know, looking someone in the eyes and just having that sense of, you know, we know each other, we belong to each other. And we're not afraid of the outside world. The physical things right now aren't pressing on us. So this day is almost like a protective bubble around you where you're able to explore your positive good feelings and revel in those and enjoy those. And the negative things in life, you know, court cases, uh, other people yelling at you, bills coming through the door, those are mitigated today and you have the freedom to really explore what it is you love, who you love, and then to participate with that person to really enjoy and make the most of your positive feelings and to have a really, really wonderful and great day. So it looks really good. Um, we've got the two of pentacles. I don't know why it says three up there because the two of pentacles is two and this is 14. So we've got but mm, okay so they've changed it in this deck because the king of cups is a court card but because i'm using this deck today and i've chosen this deck today and they've changed the numbers i'm going to respect that and i'm going to instead of counting it the way i usually would i will count it the way they have done so i'm going to go with the three and 14 is 17 and five is 22. 22 is the master number it's a master number so it's incredibly powerful and it's the master number of the builder it's a vibration of someone who is able to create something long term a legacy something permanent so look at all the great things that you're able to just brush off today you know the the irritants of life the things that would usually anger you the things that would usually put you in a rage or upset you today you're able to let those go and just say, well, that didn't work out very well. I tried my best, but the outcome wasn't ideal. It's out of my control. Never mind. I will focus on the good things. Um, you know, in the past, people have told me what to do. I'm appreciative today that I have no one breathing over my shoulder, looking at what I'm doing and constantly forcing me to do something. I get to explore my own feelings and based on those feelings I can build something that's going to be in my life for the foreseeable future and also you can build this emotional resilience and this open-hearted strength within yourself so you have the potential to implement the king of cups in your life today but also bring more of the king of cups into your everyday existence. You know, we all want to be emotionally resilient. We all want to manage our lives so, you know, that every time we get a paper cut, we don't have a complete meltdown. It, it's about managing feelings and being loving and sensitive at the same time, but not being completely ruined and crushed when someone criticizes you, for instance, or something doesn't go the way you've planned, or someone gives you an order that you disagree with. So, 
Connect with your feelings today. Act out on those loving, positive feelings and embrace that side of yourself. Maybe even name it. N name that side of yourself. Maybe, you know, the loving, selfless, romantic person in you. Does that person have a name? doesn't have to have a name, but it's a certain, it's an aspect of yourself that's always there and that you, and that we all want to develop and nurture and grow. So if, if naming it helps you, then give it a name, give it a name, like something wonderful that inspires you and that encourages you. And then when you have those feelings, you can associate it with a certain name or it's just a way of, of making it more clear within your own mind. So this is an important day personal growth, spiritual and loving development in your life. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you would like a private reading with me to look at what's coming up in your love life or the things that you have to deal with internally, maybe you have a vindictive streak or maybe uh, you're, you're unable to deal with criticism. Maybe you want to find out what challenges you need to work on. Maybe you want to know what your life purpose is, what your vocational aptitudes are, what's coming up in your love life in future, or what's coming up in future in terms of your finances, your career, your health, your family situation, your spiritual progress, whether you're on the right path. I can answer all those questions by using the tarot, the astrology, and the numerology. So if you're interested in a reading, please visit the website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Please remember to subscribe to this channel, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.